What's up? This is Unique FX for RampantDesignTools.com and today we'll be turning a normal text layer or your logo graphics into 3D and adding some nice splatter animations to it. So we'll be using some footage from the Motion Design Elements collection and you can find this collection from RampantDesignTools.com. Just head on over to the products page and into Motion Graphics Products and in here you will find the rampant motion design elements so grab yourself a copy of this now before we get started I just want to mention we'll be creating a procedural project file which means in the end we can easily switch our logo graphics uh, the splatter animations and colors so let's get started first up let's create a new composition and I'll call this number one original logo and I'm going to use the HDTV 1080 25 frames per second preset and set the duration to 10 seconds. So this will be the placeholder for our logo. So you can use an image if you want, but I'll be adding a text layer with the rampant text. So this will be our logo in this tutorial. So just center this a bit and now we can start bringing in, in our splatter footage. So let's create a new composition for that and I'm going to call this number 2 splatter animations. From the motion design elements collection let's bring in a couple of clips from the animated paint splats. This uh, number 35 and number 42. So just uh, drag and drop it onto your project and onto the layers here. So let's take a look what they look like and we can definitely move them around a bit so let's select this 35 and move it to the right like so and 42 to the left and we could scale down this uh, 42 a bit and maybe even flip it around so let's see what they look like we don't want the animation to come in on the uh, first second so let's move them back a bit and let's uh, add a bit of a gap there for the animation so the first one flies in and now the second one and we can definitely flip the first one so it flies in from the top so go to layer transform flip vertical so now we have the first animating uh, from the top and the second from the right and uh, we don't want to use a completely white splatter so let's add a tint effect to both of these to the first one and let's switch this to a nice lime green maybe a bit brighter like so and uh, pink to the next one so map the white to whatever color you want I'll be using these colors like so and uh, next up we need to combine the original logo with our splatter animations so let's create a new composition and this is number three splatter logo so let's bring in the splatter animations and the original logo and what we need to do is track map the splatter onto our logo so uh, let's toggle the switch here and make sure your splatter animation is at the bottom and track mat alpha mat original logo so some of the logo gets cut off but that's fine let's just uh, drag and drop another copy of the original here so now we have the full logo with the splatter and we want to add some effect to our logo so let's set the preview to half and uh, zoom in on this and let's add a new adjustment layer and let's rename this to bevel and add the bevel alpha effect now what we're trying to achieve is to get the top of the logo a bit brighter and the bottom part a bit darker so let's set the light angle to zero so the light is coming in from the top and let's uh, add the ed edge thickness to 3 and the light intensity to 0.6 so now we can see there's a bit of a lightness going on at the top and it's a bit darker at the bottom so that's perfect the last thing we need for our logo is some fake shadows so let's create a new composition this is number four fake shadows so let's set the background color to white 
and we can bring in the original logo in here. We won't be needing the splatter version since we're uh, tinting this completely black. So add a tint effect there, like so. Map the white to black. And to create a nice looking shadow, let's use the CC radial blur effect and the, set the type to fading zoom and when we set the amount you can see it zooms uh, towards us so we want it to zoom down so it looks like the shadows are casting down a bit so let the, let's set the center of the zoom up to zero on the y-axis so let's set that to zero and to smooth things out let's add a fast blur and set the blurriness to 10 so that's looking pretty nice. We'll uh, duplicate this layer and from the duplicate remove the CC radial blur and uh, just jack up the blurriness of the fast blur because we want some uh, shadows to be all around the logo and then just a bit of them casting down. So let's set this to 50. So I think we have all the elements ready. Now we can create our 3D logo. So once again, a new composition. This is number five, the 3D logo. Let's set the background color to black and bring in the splatter logo. Now toggle the switch and make sure it's a 3D layer. And now let's just start duplicating this layer and stacking it up. So let's check out the position. We're at zero on the Z uh, positioning. And let's uh, duplicate this and move it to minus two. So we'll leave uh, one pixel in between. Duplicate again, set this to minus four. And just repeat the process, minus six. And once we get a few copies here, I'm gonna show you how to speed things up. And minus 10. So now we have a few copies here, so we can uh, just select all the layers, duplicate them and set them on top. And let's see, we left off at minus 10, so open up the position properties on the new layers and just continue from there. So let's drag this to minus 12, like so. And let's make a few more copies, duplicate, move them on up open up the position and just continue where we left off. So that's uh, minus 24 and one more copy so we reach 30. So now our logo is 30T deep and there's uh, 16 copies as you can see. And uh, let's create a camera so we can have a click, quick look what this looks like. Just uh, select the camera and select the orbit camera tool. And it's looking really good the extrusion is uh, nice and dark and when we move on the timeline you can see the splatters coming in and they're also a bit darker on the 3D effect so that's perfect. We can uh, now remove the camera and finally create a new composition and this is number six, the final composition. So this is where it all comes together. So we'll start up by uh, bringing in the splatter animations, make it a 3D layer, then bring in the fake shadows on top of that, make it a 3D layer too, and let's set the position to minus one. So we don't want them overlapping. So our splatter animations is at zero, our fake shadows at minus one, and finally bring in the 3D logo and set it to 3D layer, and the positioning to minus two. Now make sure your collapse transformations is on so the 3D logo will look like it should be. And now let's create a little camera rig here. So a new camera, 35 millimeters. Okay, and a new null object. Rename this to camera control. Make it a 3D layer and link our camera to this camera control. So now we can easily rotate using this uh, camera control null layer. So let's rotate to around 40 degrees and a bit to the right. And when we move on to timeline, you can see just how cool this effect is. So we can see the splatters flying in 
and uh, ending up on our logo and that looks really good so now we can add a background if we want so let's add a new solid layer call this background uh, bring it on down add a ramp to it and we'll set this as a radial ramp and the start of ramp to the center and the end of ramp to the lower right corner so that's a 1920 and set the start color uh, very light gray and the end color to a bit of a blue gray so that's uh, that's looking very nice so that's how you create a nice looking 3d logo with some kick-ass shadows and some animated paint splatters and the beautiful part of this is since it's a procedurally uh, generated we can easily go back to our original logo switch it up to something else like unique and back in the final composition everything is working without a hitch so we can even bring in some images here or just uh, even add text so let's add the rampant here too so this is now rampant unique and let's center these and let's take a look at the final composition and it's working perfectly so same thing with the splatter animations you can sweep switch up the colors how you please so let's set this to blue and the other one to uh, red and now back in the final composition everything is working perfect and you can even switch up these splatter animations to something else or leave one out completely like so so uh, this is how you create a 3d logo with uh, some animated paint splatters uh, I hope you enjoyed this tut tutorial I would really like to get some feedback on it so you can head on over to rampantdesigntools.com and into our community and in here we have a section for the uh, rampant TV where you can talk about the training and tutorials or go directly to rampant TV and uh, leave your comment down here you can see some comments so you can uh, leave a comment down here so once again this is unique effects for rampantdesigntools.com and uh, I really hope you enjoy this tutorial see you next time